Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my tutorial. We gonna talk again about the Python in Dynamo. So we are coding in Python by using the Dynamo. You don't need any special libraries. You can start right now. Just open your Revit and let's start it. Last time we finished um, talking about the list. Yes, we not complete the topic of the list, but it's pretty enough for our, uh, for our goal. It's pretty enough. We are starting now to talking about dictionary. What is that and how to use it? We will talk in this lesson. Let's start it. As always, we will start to creating the Python script. Uh, let me I will find the Python script here. Uh, let me I will open it and we will delete everything, as I said, uh, except the out and the our libraries. Okay, here we are. And what is that dictionaries? Uh, let's say you want to get some data. How you can do that? For example, you need to write, uh, I don't know, some uh, uh, data of uh, information of the wall. Let's say it will be wall, material, material, and let's say price, why not? Price. And you will do the thing like this. You will write the material, the price is only, let's say, 500. 600, 10, 15. And you will, of course, it put on the output, let's say, okay? And as you can see, you get data. But how to understand which is data to which the type of the material equal? Yeah, we understand 500, this is index one. But we wanna, for example, get 500 should be equal to the plaster, 600 to the equal to the brick, uh, 10 to the equal, I don't know, to the uh, metal frame and something like that. But here just the indexes. And this is what about the, uh, this is what about the dictionaries. Let me, I will comment it and I will show you how it looks like dictionaries. I will leave, uh, let me, I will delete from the output and let's write the dictionaries. Let's use the same thing like wall, material, price. Be careful, we have the same name, but here we commented, and now this type of not working. Better is if we will get the another name, let's say two. By this way we not will uh, compare these two different types of the data, be, care be, be careful with that. Let's do the equal, and now we not will use this type of the signs, we will use this one. And let's write it like uh, plaster. After that, we're writing what is the equal the plaster 500. And what I say to the next uh, brick, right? Brick. Again, brick equal to the 600. And after that, uh, sorry. After that, uh, I said metal frame, right? Let's write just metal equal to 10. I think this is enough. Okay, we have done. Let me, I will get the other function and let I will put to the output and let's see what we get. Brick, metal, plaster. Much easiest than we have it before, right? Let me, I will compare it. As, uh, as you can see, we have the now different name and we can uncomment it without any problem. Let me, I will copy it and I will put it also to the output. Let's say okay. And as you can see, this is our previous one. So this is our previous result and this is our new result. Uh, with the new result, you can easily understand what and what we will get. But actually, this is not finished and this is not main function of our uh, type of the dictionary. As you can see on the, your screen, even uh, Dynamo understand this is a list. Inside the list we have the dictionary and list. So it means it's not uh, transferring to the list, it's not working as a list, it's working like a dictionary. But what is different between dictionary and the list? Let's say I want to get result the plaster only. No, even let's do the brick one because this is on the middle of our, uh, of our list. And uh, I want to get only result the brick. Well, how we can do that? I will show you. 
Before we'll, we should use the index and we should understand where is exactly in our list. But now we no need to do that. If you are using the dictionary, you need, just need to know on name of your, uh, for example, material. Let's write your wall material price 2 and after that just use that one. It's like an index, but we not will write any index like 1 or 2, 1 or 3. We will write here brick. And let's say OK. And as you can see, 600. Is it right? Yes, is it right? It's right, as you can see, brick 600. As you can see, by this way, you can get exactly what you want. For example, you will add some more data here. I don't know. Let me I'll say this is a block. And we'll write the price of this block. Let's do this expensive, like 1000. And now if you will change brick to the block, you will get this price. Uh, in Revit you can use, for example, you can put some inputs and you can also get only the data which you exactly want. So the dictionary can help you uh, place your data really by sorted, so you can control it. As always, like in the list, we can add some data. For example, you can see here we have some data inside our dictionary. But uh, what if you want to add some data till you doing the some function? Let me I will show you how it's working. Uh, here I will leave like just car prices too. And as you can see, all our dictionary. And let's write inside. Uh, war, uh, wall material uh, price. And let me, I will add some new type of the material. Let's say this is, will be, uh, I don't know, paint. It will be paint and the paint will be equal, uh, I don't know, 350, 250. Let me I will save it. And as you can see, it's automatically here, paint 250. So, or for example, you wanna delete the data. How you can delete the data? Pretty easy. Just write Dell. And as you can see, the Dynamo, it's understand perfectly. Dell, and after that, write the wall from where you want to delete. You want to delete from the wall material price too. And what exactly key? So this name, it's key actually. What the key you want to delete? And you want to delete metal. So we don't need any more metal. Metal. That's it. Let's save it. And we get the wrong. Oh, because as you can see, I wrote it uh, not correctly. metal and as you can see now it's not anymore here in the list so till you developing your code you can delete and add more information to your dictionary this is a pretty awesome thing but one thing you should remember for example if you have the plaster for example you have the again plaster but with different price let me write the same plaster as you can see, the key name, it's same here and here, but the data inside will be different. Let's do it 50,000. As you can see, plaster here, here 500 uh, versus 50,000. Let's save it. And result is on the end 50,000. Why? Actually, dictionary inside the dictionary, you can get only one unique key. So, for example, we have the key here. And we have the key here, and uh, inside in the dictionary, we will get only the last result of our key. So, for example, here it will be minus 500, you will get here the minus 500, instead of the 500 on the first. So, be careful with that. Or you can give the new unique name, for example, plaster uh, internal. And now, of course, you will get internal one is minus 500 and just the plaster, you will get 500. So be careful with the key name of the dictionary. It should be, be unique. And now the always you asking how to delete it. It's pretty easy again, as I said, just uh, we will get our function. We'll paste our function here dot and just clean. Clear. 
like this. Let's save it. And as you can see, our dictionary is empty. Yeah, you can fill it now uh, with data which you want. So now you know all the main function from the our uh, key, I mean the dictionary. And now I hope you will able to use it. You will say to me, okay, we can manipulate this data inside of the Python script, but how it will does help us in Revit? In Dynamo, in Dynamo even, uh, I will say it can be useful. And let me, I will sh let me I will show you. We will, for example, delete uh, all adding materials. And for example, inside, uh, we will delete all the data of the brick, of the plaster and metal. Let's even delete them, yeah, metal. And I will delete everything. We will leave only the three type of the data, as you can see. Let's save it. As you can see, we get the wrong. It's it's possible. And we have nothing here inside. We should add it. And as you remember, to the input data, we have special index. In, zero, we can add in one, in three, in two. So in zero will be equal to the plaster, in one will be equal to the brick, in two will be equal to the metal. And let's write it after two dots. In zero, let me will copy it because it will be more faster than I will type it. In zero, in zero, in zero. Actually, don't forget, here is one and here is two. If I will save it, you will see nothing now. It's nothing here. Let's say you have some data. I don't know, you're getting like one material you get from... Uh, let, let me will show you the more complicated things, okay? Even. Everything for you guys. Uh, oh my gosh. Let me will place here the wall. We have here the wall. I will place here the another wall. We have two types of the wall. Okay. Now let's, I will use the select, select, where is the select? I need select the element. Let me will select, uh, select elements, where is that? Selection. And select uh, element of type, element of category. So long time I'm not uh, coding with the <laughs> by ID. Uh, where is this select? Ah, select model element, sorry. It's my mistake. Let me, I will select one of the, of them. Okay, as you can see, we did it. And now we will get the material. We wanna get what is we have inside. Uh, get parameter or get parameter. Uh -huh, here, get parameter by value name, let me I'll connect it, and we want to get, uh, for example, I don't know, uh, oh, material, we need material, sorry, it's not this one, material. I just want to show you example, if you not understand what I'm doing, okay, here's the material, uh, no, material plus I need. So, uh, this is actually the special note from the, from the clockwork. If you need it, uh, I think you already know how to use the libraries, if not, you don't need that because you should understand first what is the material, uh, I mean the libraries. Okay, here's the materials as you can see, and here's the areas of the list. Perfect. And uh, not will be translate, just let me, I will use the material areas as you can see on the list, uh, or the, even we need the volume, volume only list, and we will get um, some special index. For example, material volume here, I will use the watch, just to show you, here is the, exactly what we need. And after that, I will use, for example, we need some list zero. Let's connect it. And as you can see, we get only exactly the index zero. And now we will connect it to the here. What you can see, the plaster equal this one. Let me, I will do the same thing here. List one and list three. This is just example for you guys, because uh, I understand you want to see the result. You want to see how you can use the Revit and Dynamo and Python. And as you can see, 
you can do that especially easy yes i understand this is not exactly the same material but i just want to show you example how you can get the element from the Revit, how you can uh, get some material from the Revit, and how you can write inside to the Python script by your first small code block, as you can see. So by this way, uh, you can manipulate you with your data pretty easily. And now you can add your data. For example, let me, I will show you how we can do that. Uh, we will, let me, I will write one more code block. Let's say here is the another list, and here it will be number six. Number six, like I will connect it, and I will connect to the number three. It's not here, but what we can do that? Do you remember how we can add some more function to the inside to the our function? We will write like that. It will be extra, or it will be glass. It will be glass equal internal in number three. You can see it here, number three. So index three, let's save it. And what you can see it here, but as you can see, it's going by different way. It's can going exactly not from here. It can, for example, be area, <laughs> why not? For example, glass area of glass. And as you can see, area of glass here. You can write in dictionary, whatever you want. For example, you can, add one more thing. Let me, I will add one more thing in a dictionary. For example, uh, name of customer, name of customer, sorry, always I'm doing some mistakes with the spelling, name of the customer equal, equal internal and number four. Be careful with the name. Here is the internal, not A and I. Okay, as you can see, number four, we don't have it. Let's add it. Number four, it's here. And let's add it here. Name. N I K O, for example, my name, right? And let's connect it. Oh, yeah. He don't want to use my name. <laughs> uh, use it, my name, please. Uh, sorry, this one and this one. Okay, and let's connect it to the number four. As you can see, name of the customer and IKO here. You can even put, in, put inside your dictionary uh, the string. So you can do whatever you want. And as you understand, you after that, you when you fill your dictionary, by the key, you can get exactly what you want. For example, here I wanna uh, get the name of the customer, for example like output, I want to get the name of the customer, right? Let me copy it here. After that, I want to get, for example, um, area of the glass, why not? Again, just writing exactly the right, uh, name of the key and say, okay, we get the na name of the customer and we get area of the glass, as you can see. So. I think this is pretty much it. Play around with the dictionary. Just try to get data from the Revit and transfer it to the, your new Python uh, script. And I think uh, you will achieve some result. If you have any questions, please leave it. Uh, you leave your question below the video. We will try to help you. I mean, I mean when I saying we, uh, me and my uh, viewers, because uh, all of you, I think most of you know the how to wor working in Revit, more know how to working in Dynamo. Even maybe you know guys how to working in the Python. For today, it's finished. Thank you guys for watching, and see you next time.